Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our no shot legendary Iron Man uh, endeavor where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with no use of conventional weapon, explosives or anything like that. We're going to free up uh, Dr. Flynn Myers, an engineer, uh, by essentially executing a high ranking advent official. Exactly, that's what we're going to do, and we get a nice team that's going to help us with that. Make utility items available. We got one battle scanner, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, well, but we got a lot of uh, firepower for of our um, characters can attack in melee, and we got two characters with um with uh, combat protocol so we're going to be fine there are got a lot of losts in here they can mess up um, our plans quite a bit but with um blade storm on hawkbite i don't fear them good we don't have an exact fix let's take a look this here might be helpful for us to um pass a lot of distance for actually finding where he is but i definitely would like to take a look at what we're dealing with because there is a distinct disadvantage of not seeing the enemies the moment that we're going to go down it would mean that we're probably going to trigger quite a few enemies. Alright, Roby moves up. Uh, let's put Hawkbite here into a prominent frontline position. I comply. Quick feet, on the other hand, could be moved over to here. We just not need to make sure that we're not being spotted out whilst doing all of that moving and Zirke moves as well all right end of turn good so those guys might spot out the losts and then essentially trigger off of them as long as we're staying hidden there is no fear of any timer. The timer only starts as soon as we are being spotted out. Headed there now. All right, interesting. Well, let me put it this way. I want to make sure that we're not going to be spotted out at all Guide my hand. which is why we're very carefully standing here for now and ending our turn good now they finally recognize that something is wrong and there's another pack a mutant oh, mutants always are difficult to deal with we only have melee so far So keep in mind, we're not triggering them. They are being triggered by Advent. And if uh, we play our cards right, these guys might go for, for one another's throats. Okay, we got something here that's just lost. Not finding the commander, really. Can't move sonar. That's fine. I'm on the move. We're slowly but surely moving Onward. people towards the enemy. For the purpose of this, let's keep everyone behind the car. Really, I don't want this here to be spotted out. 
and we're ending the turn. Ooh, you're going to suffer if you don't kill... Oh, you're going to suffer a lot. Like, they have melee vulnerability, so the loss will completely eat them for breakfast. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Good, that's our target. Moving over. We're close. That is our target. I see the path. We need to ask twice. All right, Roby moves up as well. And Sonar finally can move. So we're taking the opportunity to meet up with a team. Just a time before he would have been kind of held down again. Oh, wow, the sector might be turning this. Oh. Well, now he is in trouble because there are no more, like, easy targets for him to kill. In that sector, it might end up um, getting slaughtered. Interesting choice of cover. Luckily for the... Oh... Oh, 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 oh. I was about to say, luckily for the sectored, um, not all three of them are following him. A bit unlucky for us. That we have just been discovered. Okay, first things first. Definitely want to kill this guy. All right, let's start. Let's start with moving up here. And yep, that's the kill we're looking for. That's how it's done. Moving up. So, as I was saying, where is our teamwork? There we go. Teamwork for Hogbite. Thank you. And Hogbite now can move up and essentially use his Blade Storm to kill all three of them. We're also uh, going to parry, so that we're going to be on the safe side. Parrying. Yeah, let's move over. Essentially taking full cover here. Thane gives an 8 protocol to Zirkim just in case, making him a less attractive target. Before moving into full cover over here. Oh, that's a good one. Quick feet, uh, Roby. And we're hunkering down. Are you telling me the Chosen is... Oh. Huh. Well. That is a problem. We can luckily one-on-one -on -one her as soon as she shows her ugly face. 
Just started there. Oh, really? Instead of dealing with the guys behind you, you're deciding to rather mind control someone else. Okay, whatever. It's their decision. This here is a problem. Because we now need to deal with the mutant. Good. Luckily for us, at least that plan here went well. Not so lucky for us, on the other hand, we're being swarmed by these creatures can deal with the advent mech and that might be a good course of action um, i'd like to see if the chosen has already moved up the answer is yes at least we took her um surprise moment Battle scanners are just fantastic. Alright, that's pretty solid hit. Revival protocol to get quick feed back up and remove uh, the panic. We need all of uh, the aggressive power that we can master. I should have should have looked whether or not I could have hit um, the mech. So now we're definitely going to need to shift over teamwork. That's unfortunate. Overall, we still got um, a positive outcome. Yeah, but nonetheless, that costed us a, an important cooldown. Can't reach anywhere. Okay, if we position ourselves here, that'll be out of line of sight for him. Meaning we're less likely to get critically hit. All right, Roby moves up. Half cover isn't perfect, but at least we're getting a couple of kills here. Moving into full cover with a Zirkim. And finally, let's deal with her. Okay, so far so good. We got all of our focus together and we're parrying, which means going to hit one more time uh, with Bladestorm. That's good. It's probably going to hit. Ooh, okay. Well, that's an option as well. Very nice. Got to deal with her. We 
We know she moved up here. That's fine. Let's hope the losses are swarming also the mutant. Ouch. They won't last long at this rate. That is fantastic. The losts are helping us. This on the other hand is not fantastic. We are taking quite a few hits. All right, that here is, if we play our cards right, this here is going to be a, ki a kill. Yeah, Sane definitely needs a healing. And we still got Comet Protocol available for us. All right, quick feet. Moving to here, that's half cover. Can't be flanked. Target eliminated. Good, continuing kind of our onslaught. Again, half cover, theoretically flankable. I think we probably need to move a tiny bit further back. Okay. Again, into full cover. Why can't... Oh. So you're telling me I just cannot move behind him okay well that is really unfortunate yeah i don't want to be standing here in the open we'll just leave him be for now we got to be careful that the mutant doesn't do anything like incredibly stupid And without having the option to retaliate yet, I would be careful. Zirkim gets the aid protocol so that the mutant can't really flank him. He could flank him, but he can't like flank him and kill him. And I would like to kill this guy. Pretty liberal use of Comet Protocol at this point. The elders will hear no excuses, except no failure. Do not disappoint them. Yeah, that's why I don't want to mess with them in melee. Ooh. Gotcha. Down to one. Harbor wave, we're immune against that. Okay, it deals damage against these guys. Interesting. Didn't know that. Maybe the chosen will even be beaten by a lost. Wow, okay. We're getting swarmed, that's for sure. This 
Let's kill the assassin. I'm t tired of her bullshit. And we gotta go f back to the others. Hogbite is completely obliterating this here. Moving up, closer, ever so closer to this guy here. Moving to designated position. All right, moving over. Gotta be careful. Maybe a double move is actually the right uh, play here. Let's freeze up a spot next to him in cover, which Zirkim will utilize. Getting rid of the loss isn't easy if you cannot use the free headshot function. We gotta move into cover. Can't really deal with them at this point. Moving away so that that chosen there is not going to follow us. Well, it's following us, but not dealing any significant damage. That will be a futile effort. Did he just mind control uh, Hogbite, who has a mind shield? Sounds like the lost are getting a lot closer to our position, Commander. Prepare for no, he. Incoming. Well, he did. What? How? Okay, wait. I will need to check that. I'm hit. I'm hit. Well, this here is getting an ug uh, that here is getting more and more ugly as well. All right, Roby helps his partner. I am baffled. Can't uh, can't say it enough. I was totally under the impression that we have a mind shield. Well, we got to get close. I'm hoping to bait him in. Moving into full cover and let's heal ourselves. Taking a surprising amount of damage from the losts. We just don't have a very effective means of countering them. This guy by himself has already dealt five points of damage just because we didn't have the time to, uh, to get rid of them. Again, Bladestorm will solve that going forward. This guy is dealing quite a bit of damage, so it's prudent to get rid of him right away. Moving further back, everybody here is in full cover. And what I want to, or what I'm hoping to get out of it is if everybody's in full cover, 
then the natural choice of uh, the mutant would be to try to go for Hogbite. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Okay, perfect. Perfect. There we go. There we go. Another swarm appears. Ah, not good. Oh, wow. That's a lot of damage. Normally they hit for one, but... They... Uh, they are sometimes hitting for two nowadays. And yeah, it, if you had Blade Storm, like all of that would be just a non-issue, right? Don't make the mistake of thinking that you can melee the mutant. Instead, let's move up, kill this guy, and move back up here. All right. Quick feet. Moves into full cover. Roby. Moves into full cover. Sonar. Moves into full cover. Sane. Moves. Yep, you guessed it. Into full cover. And Zirkim moves back. Basically away from the swarm. Because I will let Hogbite deal with that. This should be the Bladestorm kill. Satisfying. Can't deny that that was satisfying. Good. Once we've potentially killed all of uh, these guys, we should be good to go. Like, let's start with the dashers. Easy kills. Kill confirmed. Down. Good. We're building a nice little defensive wall around here. Roger that. And Hogbite going to be that guy who's charging in and who's just not giving a fuck oh really oh really well you just passed his blade storm Let's try this again. And we're ending the turn. This here should hopefully end the entire mission. Oh boy, poor wounded soldiers and quite a few kills on that mission. Oh man, the loss are stronger than I would have anticipated just because we can't shoot them. But it's just a matter of time. I'll get to Bladestorm with the Rangers and that will be a game changer for that run. Good, we got a couple of promotions. Can be well, Ouch. 24. In single digits, bond level um, upgrade available. That's fantastic. Let's start with the uh, Zirkim here. Yeah, not triggering. Overwatch is good. And Roby, not triggering Overwatch as well, is good. Still got to work a little bit harder to get that Blade Storm.
And yeah, I mean, we got our first mutant corpse. Yay! Hello, and we got an engineer. Plus, we finally made sure that uh, Undying Loyalty doesn't matter. All right, new engineer starts with excavation. That is good. Training center. Can't do that yet because some of our soldiers need rest. Ooh, blast padding. That's not bad. That's not bad, but we're short on points. And I think before ending any over, we might be better off getting medical protocol, to be entirely honest. From us getting this ship up and running, which was mostly Dr. Shen's work, I haven't felt particularly useful in a long time. Yeah, let's let's get that. Decisions for the commander. Okay. This here looks good. I like the gifted part. But yeah, not much that he can take yet. And I would like to spend the other AP mainly on to Hogbite. He's doing very well. And although it is pretty much putting our eggs into one basket, it is the Hogbite basket and that's a valuable basket. It's the one basket that you would want your eggs in. Faster healing, good, uh, but we're probably going to get these supplies. We got 115 intel. Not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. Good, we got the potential for a hunter's axe now, which is the weapon that we're aiming for. What else do we need? I think we're going for modular weapon now. Because like this here is giving us plasma grenades, which we don't need. Um, this here is not too bad. It's an upgrade for our um, gremlins. That's maybe useful for more damage on the combat protocol. Priest is useless, Purifier is not useful, no. <laughs> Maybe the Lure is actually not too bad, whilst we're, whilst we're not having any other options. Let's go for Breakdown, uh, the... Oh no, that does not even give us um, Mech 2, right? This here is Blue Screen Rounds, what am I even talking about? Yeah, blue screen rounds does not help us. Okay, we're going for modular weapon uh, because I think that that is needed in order to soon get to the highest armor upgrade. And then we're just going to create more armor for now. Guerrilla Tactic School, we don't have the means to purchase anything, but Mentally Awake would be fine. I like it. Let's continue. There's the school jack, and now we can go for school mining, which is what we were looking for. But before we do that, let's do the hunter's axe. The 40 supplies are definitely well sp uh, spent. School mining costs us a bit more, so for now that's a no-no. But yeah, with that, um, we would get the hacking bonus for the Skulljack. So uh, it's not bad. Let's start with the axe because that's the cheaper one. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. And we can get the Skull Mining a bit later because currently we can't even hack enemies. Commander, so it doesn't matter. Operating across the globe. We're running out of time. 
Okay, very soon we have to do... Uh, we have to probably do the black side. Good, we could go for magnetic weapons. Question is, is that really needed? Now that we have it inspired, that is a free 14 days less that we would need in order to pro uh, process. Let's really think hard about whether or not we want to do that. Because all of the other autopsies are not granting us anything. And with major breakthroughs like magnetic weapon and plasma weapon, you're sometimes getting some autopsies for free. So the way that research um, works and that the research tree works, although we don't use weapons, grant that that was an inspired uh, bonus 14 days, I am confident that that was the right choice. Good. We're going to build a uh, uh, radio here. For the Eastern US precinct. And probably a radio over there. Increases income, gets us uh, the continent bonus. Commander. Yeah, and now we gotta act. Okay. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Commander, we're almost out of time. Yeah, and it's. We're. We're all chitty chatty about we're almost out of time and everything's so, so bad. It isn't. Relax a bit. We got two days um, until a lot of them would come back if we're doing a normal scan for healing. And I think that is exactly what we should do. And in two days, we're going to invade the Black Side facility. Ooh, and we got an ambush. Okay, I'll play that one offline because me just running away is not entertaining to watch. And uh, we are, I mean, you know what, I'll end the session here. I'll play it um, and we're going to start in the next session with basically a day later um, when I scanned for healing so that we can directly jump into the black side. That would make sense. If anything major happens, I'll just update. And yeah, that's uh, that's really where we currently are. Um, I think overall it's working very well. We got another ace up our sleeves with uh, the other facility that we could uh, take whenever we want. It's not um, there is no time pressure behind it. We can expand into Europe, uh, which again is no time pressure for us. Uh, and from there we have. Um, the access to two further facilities. So I think that the uh, doomed, uh, Doom Clock can be controlled well. The biggest concern that I'm seeing at this point is probably around damage output and getting versatile means of damage. So far we only have um, melee attacks and let's be honest, uh, Bladestorm will be a huge upgrade once the team uh, is having it on every single character. But until then, it feels like we're kind of scraping by. Um, uh, we cannot upgrade the weapons fast enough to um, to, to really make a meaningful um, a meaningful uh, impact. Um, we often need two people to simply focus down a single enemy, and we're exposing ourselves in pretty yeah suboptimal fashion. A second Templar would definitely help. And if nothing else, Psy operatives would also help. This brings us to the end of today's session. I thank you for watching. And please, if you enjoy the content, feel free to write a comment down below, even if it's simply a comment how you, um, what your thoughts are about um, the last mission or about the run in general. That helps the channel to grow because it uh, shows interaction uh, with the uh, with the video from the YouTube algorithm. And that's just the way that YouTube works. Thanks, guys. Have a good one and see you in two days. Bye bye.